Welcome everyone, Farmer Cobb here. This is going to be the top 10 mods of the week. I apologize how late this is coming out. This is coming out um, on Tuesday of the week after when it was supposed to be for. Um, this is for all platforms. Everything we have today is for all platforms. There was a lot of mods last week that got released, so um, I tried to pick some of the top ones, but there was just, oh, there were so many good ones last week. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it um, as we get going here. For number one, we have the classic two row planter by Dogface. This is 1.68 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 90 people having rated it. Um, this wasn't probably one of the most popular mods that came out, but I thought it was cool. It's nice to start seeing some uh, vintage equipment start to come out on uh, the mod hub. So I thought this was definitely something worth mentioning. Um, in the store, this thing is going to run you, if we take a look here, it's gonna run you $2,750 and it's gonna plant corn, sunflowers, soy, sugar beets, and cotton, just like any other planter. Only requires 20 horsepower and holds 100 liters of seed. So uh, very cool, cool to see that kind of come out onto the Mon Hub there. That is the classic two row planter. For number two, we have the New Holland Forge Cruiser Series by Whiskey Sierra Modding, 8.93 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 183 people having rated it. This thing is just a beast of a machine, just absolute beast of a machine. One of the things I like, if you can see, um, it has a metallic kind of pink color is in addition to, let me look at the tracks on. If we take a look in the store here, I'm um, at this bad boy, I'm going to here. Um, it's got a lot of different options on here. The main ones I want to look at is uh, you can again upgrade the engine all the way up to 911 horsepower. Uh, the main color has several options, including this red candy color um, and the blue power color there. You can also do black. And they can also do just kind of a regular New Holland blue and New Holland red there. Um, and then also have several room color options, which I'm not gonna go through all of those. Um, and then if we go up to wheel setup, we have standard, wides, twins, and then we got these big old crawler tracks just under trailer board. I haven't looked through all the rest of them, but it's just fantastic to see just some really cool um, tire options for you um, on a forage harvester. So there you go. That is the New Holland Forage Cruiser Series. All right, for number three, we have the Lizard 845 AG Hall All Series. This is by Custom Modding. There's two versions of this that came out. One is for PC and Mac players only because it is branded differently. Um, that's my understanding that's the only difference. There could be a couple other things, but I didn't look at both of them too, super clearly. But um, this is the one that is for all platforms. This is 23.45 megabytes to download, again, for all platforms. Rated 4.7 out of 5 stars with 415 people having rated it. Um, this baby is absolutely fantastic. And on the back, you can see one of those axles there has a different rim color and a different, um, uh, just a different uh, color for the frame in general. That is because if we go under here and you have the third axle option to put on there and we have the haul series. And there is a lot of customization you can do on this. I'm not gonna go through everything on there, but um, a lot of customization on there and a lot of customization you could do on this. I kept it separate just to kind of help show that this was the back tag axle out there, but uh, very cool, very large trailer for you guys to be able to use. That is the Lizard 845 AG Haul All Series. For number four, we have Calm Lands by ER Shaba. This is a uh, new mod map that came out. What you're seeing right now on your screen is um, part of my map tour of the map. So make sure you guys go check that out if you haven't already. Uh, but this is 80.70 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 3.7 out of five stars, which is very low, I think, in my opinion, for this map, um, with 702 people having rated it. Not only does it have um, a new product such as donuts on board on this map, which is fantastic, it is like a kind of a different version of No Man's Land away, um, where you can kind of build your own farm. And I think it's really cool. I think it's cool to see some different stuff come out where we have uh, more options to kind of build our own farms on maps. And this is very cool to see that. Um, by the way, if you guys do download any of these mods, make sure you guys rate them five out of five stars to help the modders out if you like them, um, because they do lose about, they get paid very small amounts for what they mod and they lose 50% of their income from their mods uh, from Giants if it drops below four stars like this mod specifically has. So uh, make sure you guys are rating them five out of five stars. The modders definitely deserve it. They put in hours and hours and hours and hours in the work on uh, these mods to get them out into the game for you. But anyhow, that was Calm Land for you. Let's go ahead and move on. For number five, we have the American Farm Buildings Pack. This is by Omatana. This is 89.53 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.7 out of five stars, 193 people rating it. Um, this uh, Omatana also released this last week, a French Farm Buildings Pack as well, which uh, also looked really nice. So make sure you guys check that out as well. Uh, but this contains a farmhouse, a silo, multi-fruit, silo extension, buying station, workshop, garage, vehicle garage, vehicle garage, or well, vehicle garage long, uh, large, vehicle garage medium, old barn, carport small, carport medium, carport large, decorative building. Uh, there's lots of different stuff in there um, in this one. I actually can't distinguish what this one is from another one that we're gonna take a look at here in a little bit, at least all of the stuff in it, but there are a lot of options in this, a lot. There's more than what is just listed there that I just listed to you. So make sure you guys check this out. This will give you a lot of ability to kind of customize uh, the farm you want it to be. For number six, we have the Industrial Bakery. This is by Dogface, 1.81 megabytes to download for all platforms. 
This is currently rated 4.8 out of 5 stars with 155 people having rated it. This works like a regular bakery except that it has a 5 times production speed of a regular bakery. So it's like just a larger, obviously industrial, more industrial bakery. So very cool to see that come out. I think a lot of people will enjoy this to kind of increase their production um, and whatnot on the game. So very cool to see an actual industrial bakery of some kind to come out um, and have that just available to us. Um, if we go into the build menu here, I'm gonna go under productions. This guy is uh, 90,000 to buy. And I believe what's the regular bakery? Something around that, isn't it? Carpentry, there's regular bakery, regular bakery is 50,000, so it is more expensive, but not by much for especially five times the production. So um, this is the industrial bakery, make sure you guys download it and check it out. For number seven, we have the Sugar Beet Processing Plant. This is by Vertex Design, 6.95 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 182 people having rated it. Um, what it says in there, I'll read to you guys, says this processing plant for sugar beets cleans them first using fresh water and separates stones and dirt. Afterwards, they are put into or cut into pulp, which can be unloaded used in their production or used in other production facilities. The dirty excess water can be used as slurry. So very cool as far as just Overall production, very creative. Um, we're actually gonna take a look at this inside the menu here. We're gonna go down to our production facility just to show you um, right here. So your inputs are gonna be sugar beets and water and you get sugar beet cut, slurry, and stones out of this, which is fantastic. And there's your production chain right there. Obviously it goes very fast, but this isn't too much as far as what it's using and getting produced there, but it still will go very fast. So um, just a very cool facility to have. I think that's something unique and very cool to kind of have added into the game. I could definitely see myself uh, using this bad boy right here. For number eight, we have the Robert Straw Pack. This is by Universe Simu Modding. This is 37.78 megabytes to download for all platforms. This is currently rated 4.9 out of five stars with 280 people having rated it. I believe this is the biggest feed mixer we have available now, but we can take a look at that here. So first off in this pack, the Robert Pack, you're gonna have this guy right here, which is a straw blower. You have this straw blower here. This guy can work as a straw blower if you would like it to, or a feed mixer. And then we have this guy right here, which can also work as either a straw blower or a feed mixer as well, it appears. Uh, so very cool. Uh, but I don't know, what is our biggest feed mixer in here? I feel like this might be the new biggest one. What does this hold? 24,000, yep. So as far as, um, unless there's something else bigger on the Mod Hub that I missed, this is our new biggest one at 30,000 um, liters there. So definitely something worth checking out. That is part of the Robert Straw Pack by Universe Simu Modding. For number nine, we have the John Deere HX20. This is by Black Sheep Modding. This is 6.57 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.9 out of five stars with 270 people having rated it. This is a Batwing mower. This is 15,000 to buy, only needs 75 horsepower. Uh, we're running at 22 kilometers. I'm not sure what that is in miles per hour. Uh, the working width is 6.24 meters and it has a couple of different configurations as far as uh, uh, lights. You can also make it a mulcher and then it has a wheel configuration as well. So very cool. It's a nice new mower for you guys to use, but you guys that like John Deere equipment, this is gonna work out really well on your farms for you. But there you go. That is the John Deere X or HX20. For number 10 in our final mod for the day, this is the placeable buildings pack by Alien Gem. He also had a placeable objects pack and a placeable uh, vehicles pack come out. Um, some of these things you'll recognize from No Man's Land and from No Man's Land in the past. And then he also has some new stuff in there. So very cool to have this come out. Um, this is 48.61 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms and rated 4.8 out of five stars with 165 people having rated it. There are a ton of buildings in here. Now, if we go into the actual um, store here, or the kind of the, I don't know what you call this, the build mode, there we go. Uh, if we go through here, there's a lot of different stuff in here. Now, some of this stuff is from Omatana's pack, so I can't really distinguish uh, which is from which. That, that silo is definitely from Alien Jim's pack, uh, but then again, this is gonna be from, I believe, Omatana's pack there. Um, Alien Jim there, it looks like. But uh, yeah, so just be aware of that. There's a lot of different stuff in here. Um, that one might be Omatana's. That one's definitely from Alien Jim's pack, so I can't distinguish all of it. Uh, if we go to decoration, this is where we're gonna see so much different stuff in here. Uh, so a lot of these are um, from Omatana's pack, I believe these decorative houses. I could be wrong though. And then a lot of these ones down here are from Alien Jim's pack. So again, there is an absolute ton. You can have these village buildings, uh, all sorts of different stuff from it. So um, yeah, very cool, very well done. Um, Alien Jim always does fantastic work on his mod. So definitely make sure you guys are checking this one out. But anyhow guys, that is our final mod for the day. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.